An entrepreneur here in Atlanta is cashing in on people fed up with parking lot boots. And who isn't? He started selling keys for people to unlock them without paying the steep fines the parking lot companies usually charge. But is it legal? Fox News' Rob Dirienzo talked to the man and asked police. Well, it'll ruin just about anyone's day to walk out to your car and find one of those big yellow boots on your wheel so you can't drive off. The guy who started this whole thing decided enough is enough. So he found the key to getting free. Atlanta's tired of the boot. The people hate the boot. Christian Verrett says he got booted in Atlanta's parking lots one too many times. I figured out, hey, you, you can make a key and you can sell the key. You can duplicate the key. So that's what he did. He started selling master keys to the boots online, 50 bucks each. These four will cover 90, maybe 95 percent of the boots in Atlanta. There's maybe about six or seven companies that boot. There's a few really big companies that have the majority of the contracts. I have all of their keys. He says he's been doing it for the last few months, and so far he says he sold about 600. How did you get the, the prototype of the key? That's a trade secret, so can't, I can't tell you that, but it was hard work. Verrett tells me this is just a passion project on the side, and he's not in it for the money. Actually, he says his end goal is to be put out of business. I want the boot banned overall. You know, this is really just to raise awareness about getting the boot banned. A bill at the state capitol to do just that failed this legislative session. Now he's calling on Atlanta's mayor and city council to ban the boot in city limits. In the meantime, this is the people's only alternative. And Honestly, I don't care if the business fails. I'm, I'm here just to help the people out. And one of the biggest questions I had is, is this legal? I asked APD. They say yes, it's completely okay to have one of these keys and bust yourself out of a private lot. They say the only two ways you can get in trouble are if you steal the boot or damage it. In Atlanta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.